I am nowhere near prepared for And I'm tired. Hello, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Holly. Uh, I am the owner of a small business called Balefire Designs. Uh, I make notebooks, earrings, and uh, working on some lamps in the future, but that's not today. I have four days until uh, usually the largest festival of the year, the Marigold Festival, and I am nowhere near prepared for it as I'd like. I need, uh, as you can see here, I already have these ones stained, and I need to paint them, and these ones I finished cutting out last night and I still need to stain them and then paint them. Or like the ones on the bottom I need to, um, they're fabric notebooks. Those take a little bit longer. I don't know if I'll have time to do those or not. But I have fabric. We'll try. So yeah, uh, that's the first part to do today. My hand feels dead. So I've painted, um, let's see if I can show you, uh, seven, yeah, seven notebooks, only seven. I, uh, in the past I've given myself, had a lot more time, I should say. Yeah, no, <laughs> only seven. I still have uh, more to do. This here is just seven more. And then seven, eight, nine. And that's just from the first stack. Uh, I still have the other stack downstairs. Yeah. <laughs> I am definitely mentally adjusting what I can get done this week because that, oh my gosh, I'm gonna put on a compression hand thing. So yeah, since 12 noon today to now, I've been painting notebooks. The sunflowers, which it was like my first one that I designed. I still really like it. <laughs> Uh, the sunflower one, uh, that one takes about 35 minutes. It's not too bad. I usually have to double go over the yellow. Um, the black sticks pretty good. The white is questionable at times. What surprised me is that uh, these mandala ones uh, with the gold, three different colors, it took about 50 minutes. And I was, I was trying and I had three of those. So pretty much an hour for each notebook. And then um, these uh, wing ones here, uh, the, they have the gold outline on all the wings and then the stars and then the white. Um, but these take about 30 minutes also each. And I think I was definitely slowing down because my hand, well, I had to look up. Um, I haven't started it yet, but these ones completely uh, sold out. So I had to look up where I had all the different colors and stuff. Yeah, I definitely woke up at 8 today, so it was pretty much a 12-hour working shift at home, which is like a first. Yeah, I'm excited. So I have the whole rest of the week off, so it gives me oh, it gives me time to figure more stuff out, which I should have already had figured out, <laughs> but I didn't. So, yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. What's the angle? I'm not playing.
Good morning, y'all. Okay. So it is 10 o'clock next day. I have some exciting things. You can kind of see it back there. Turn this a little bit. I was um, trying to figure out my schedule for today, yesterday, last night, and I was trying to... Okay. And I was trying to plan out my booth a little bit. Yeah, you can't really see it, but I'm figuring like a half table there and then the two displays uh, on either side. The thing that I hadn't tested was for my notebooks. I want to put these shelves up. I'm excited. <laughs> it looks good. It looks like how I want it to. And I really hope these um, these little uh, strappy things I got from Amazon. I'm going to put a little metal bracket with a loop on it so I can yoink that on there and then it'll hold it upright. But I'm excited. Um, last night I figured out I printed one off. I'm gonna need to use eight of them. I'm gonna need eight boards. Yeah, it just slides over the holes in the um, brackets and just sits on top. I can fit two notebooks side by side on there. <sighs> yeah, it's, it's, it's gonna look so good. And what I'm gonna do, you can kind of see uh, I'm gonna have my regular notebooks, the A5, uh, two by two all the way down here. And then I only have enough brackets for full size notebooks on these ones. And then that panel is empty so far. What I really wanted to do was have pencils, but all the tests I've done haven't been working. Yeah, see, it's not only off, but it's too deep in some cases. And then out of alignment, the writing looks fuzzy too. I don't know, it just, it doesn't look very good. Anyways, long story short, I was wanting to do pencils, etched pencils, and bookmarks. I think would have worked well over here. I, I think I've run out of time. So that one's probably going to be empty or... My boyfriend had uh, the good idea to, since I sell the notebooks, to also sell paper for them to buy if they wanted to buy them there. Just an extra little uh, sheaf of it. It feels weird to display paper that way. Just be like, uh. <laughs> that sounds weird. Because, I mean, I could see it if it was a basket, but just having it on a shelf? I don't know, something to think about. I'll think about it off camera instead of rambling. That's where I'm at, so I'm excited. I still have, of course, all the notebooks to paint, um, but I'm going to run outside and set up my tent and measure the ivy. Yeah, so I'm gonna, yeah, go set up my tent real quick. idea what I'm doing but I'm going to try and make the <laughs> in my head uh, I called it a tent toupee <laughs> but we don't want it to look like a comb over so I've got lots of ivy I've got these pretty wisteria flowers to try and incorporate in there and I've got this um, metal hoop and what my plan is, I've never seen this or I have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah, so the plan is to take this and this macrame cord and I'll start wrapping it around this and then taking some of the ivy and kind of laying it flat and then wrapping this around it to hold it in place. So. Yeah. Oh, also, I have this, um, it's called trellis, uh, what is it called? <coughs> trellis knitting. And to make sure all my vines don't end up just clumping together in one thing, I'm going to also incorporate this into the macrame, or, yeah, into the macrame cord while I'm wrapping it around this. And that way I can gently adhere the ivy to different places and also make it fuller in some places 
if it's not not enough. I'm really hoping it will be though because like I said I've got these two big boxes of it but yeah that that's the plan so far. See how it goes. <laughs> gathered because it was a lot easier. I cut off the netting uh, because the way these vines stick together is pretty accurate to real life. So <laughs> I don't think they're going to be moving around a whole lot. I'm going to have to zhuzh it into place but I think after that they'll kind of stay. Um, we'll see though. Um, the next thing besides putting it on there and zhuzhing it is figuring out how I want to incorporate uh, the wisteria into it. Is it going to be just on the bottom or am I going to layer it up all the way through the top? I don't know. And the stems are kind of large compared to the small vines individually. So I'm going to have to like either cut the stems off and then because the actual vines are smaller. Ugh. I just wanted to show you my progress though. <laughs> Okay, so I know it's dark. You can probably only hear the sound. Oh, look at this thing! Okay, good morning. <laughs> so it is now um, Thursday. Uh, I ended up taking a break yesterday, but I did get one notebook painted. <clears throat> I still have this whole pile here to do. It's currently 9 o'clock, 9.09, .09, so I'm just gonna get cracking. You lay easy on my mind Like a candle I just burn away All we really have is time All we Okay. Hello. It is still Thursday. It is now 7.30 at night. I've been painting all day. Okay. I got a lot of notebooks painted here. I don't, I don't know. Eh. Start grunting at you. <laughs> but yeah, I got, um, I'm testing these ones out. Some full-size notebooks with the same um, designs as some of my um, A5 size. This isn't the same one. Yeah. But like, regular notebook, A5 notebook. Um, we'll see how those do. I wish I had made more. I don't have time to make more though. Um, but that way I could see if 
they end up selling more or less than these, but I literally only made one. <sighs> so anyways, so I've been painting most of the day. Um, I still have more to paint, but I was going to start working on my, um, put these away. Yes, I was going to start working on um, the bottom of my display holders. I went to um, Menards, a local hardware store, just about an hour ago, and I got these two large pieces of wood here, six foot long, and I'm going to attach these feet to it. And hopefully, uh, along with the uh, posts I'm going to put on the top, um, it'll support the uh, pegboards. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down top isn't supported and you can't really see the bottom from this angle but it's it's meant to be subtle anyways it, you're supposed to see the display stuff not the stuff holding it up so I finally finished it it's now 9 30 at night <laughs> I'm going to uh, stain these two supports real quick and then I'm gonna get started on um, I need to design the price tags that are going to be hanging um, from everything next. I think it's going to be it's going to be similar to the ones um, I just put these ones on the table, um, basically where it has. Of course, I have you in the dark corner so you can see everything. <laughs> but um, I have it where it's just the cutout, and then I have this piece of paper stuck onto it. I think I'm going to do the same thing. Um, for the ones that I'm going to hang um, among the earrings and then underneath the notebooks. So the notebooks are just going to be like a, a square. So all I have to do is um, create a an SVG so I can send it to Glowforge and have it cut out the little squares to hang underneath. And then I just need to um, make in Canva the little um, signs like this one just says glass necklace and earring combo on there. I'm tired. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that real quick and hopefully it won't take too long. Um, yeah, hopefully I'll be in bed by 1130. <laughs> so. Good morning. So it is now Friday at uh, 9.54, it's pretty much 10 o'clock. Uh, this is what I kind of worked on last night. I still, I haven't finished some of these, like this one still needs to be painted, it's just the board. But, um, yeah. So, uh, when I went to Menards yesterday, I got these baskets. They're not specifically pegboard baskets, but, um, I just hung, like, hooky pegs and then hung the basket on there. And then, um, I'm reusing my, um, 
original price tags. I just got to print prices to put on there with the paper. And I have the, I don't have the other price tags yet. They're stained downstairs. I stained them last night, but um, I'm going to work on that later. So the plan this morning is um, they have an early check-in. It started at 8 this morning, uh, so I think I'm going to head over there. I'm going to disassemble most of this. I think I'm going to take the notebooks and everything. What I'm worried about is that the notebooks are going to be too heavy. Yeah, so between the the feet and the straps that I'm gonna put on the top I'm I'm still worried it's gonna be too wiggly so if I go earlier this morning I still have time to head over to Menards or something if I need to find figure out a different way to support it in the back to keep it from wobbling at the top so that's the plan I'm tired <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna get that disassembled and then uh, hit the road I'm exhausted. <laughs> so I've got the um, the bones basically set up. The displays are wigglier than I'd like. This lighting is horrible. Is that any better? I still look like I've been crying or something. I have not been crying. Anyways, uh, but the, the displays are a little bit wigglier still than I would like. I think it'll be fine for the show but I can see improvements that I can make in the future. I think if I want to use them, I'm gonna have to make a frame independent from the tent because even though it wasn't the sides blowing it back and forth, the actual tent was like wiggling the whole, the whole frame. Yeah, I am back home now. Um, so I have the bone set up. I'm gonna bring all the product and other stuff tomorrow. I'm worried it's going to rain. It's definitely windier than it's gonna be tomorrow. So I think it'll be fine. When the wind was blowing, it didn't, like even though the thing was moving, it didn't shift any of the notebooks. And the notebooks are the heavier ones. I'm not as worried about the earrings. Um, I am going to eat my fast food <laughs> and um, get working on painting the other notebooks that I still need to finish and um, get them packaged up and ready for tomorrow. <laughs> so, ah, on to the next. <laughs>
now 12.04, 12.05 at night and I'm tired. I've got, did I get bug bit? I just finished loading my car. <laughs> I figured it's better to do it now than in the morning. Um, I am, I have very little brain processing skills in the morning, so <laughs> I figured it's better now than then. So I think I have everything I'm just gonna be able to change and then do a double check before I leave. And I did as much as I could with the time that I had. <laughs> so you can kind of see I angled it so you can kind of see I still have that. I did not get those painted, which is, I'm sad because a lot of those were the, the new ones um, that I hadn't painted before, which is why I saved them for last because I figured they would take longer. Um, but yeah, so that means I'm pretty much coming to the craft fair again with the same things that I had last year. And that includes the, the, the newer earrings, the few that I, uh, the few that I had are on there. And I don't have listings. I don't have barcodes. I, I, I could bring those few. I did make like a miscellaneous barcode so at least I can scan saying like, oh, a, an earring sold <laughs> or a stud because I think I have earrings and studs that I didn't have barcoded once again um, on there. So uh, anyways, I'm going to go to bed. I just wanted to give an update to this disorganized mess. <laughs> and. I will see you tomorrow. I'm gonna actually, I will get a recording this time of my booth. <laughs> okay, so I'll see y'all tomorrow. First day of the market went well. Um, it's now 6.58 at night. Um, it went well. Uh, let me look over here at my Shopify stats. So I had a total of 35 different orders today for a total of $787 even. Yeah, I did pretty good today. Uh, almost ran out of um, business cards. I was surprised because I was kind of being I wasn't not handing them out, but I was sometimes being like, oh yeah, I wasn't, I wouldn't put them in a package if they didn't ask for them. But they started like being like, do you have a business card? Can I get your business card? And I was like, oh no, yeah, here you go. And then I had, I think I literally have three left um, today, but uh, excited. I don't know, this is kind of flat. Um, Vista print. I finally got my uh, stuff in. Uh, I ordered it too late, not that they shipped it slowly because that wasn't the problem at all. <laughs> it was me. It was all me. It's me. Hi. I really like these business cards. Um, the ones I get have like the holographic um, finish on there. Yeah. And then I have my uh, QR code on the back. Ta -da! My Shopify uh, clock counter. <laughs> Ta -da! It's changed. It's different. It's not at 42 anymore. It's at 77. <laughs> so yeah, uh, good day. I am going to uh, veg out for the rest of the night. I was thinking about painting more notebooks. A lot of those sold. I have empty spaces, but I don't know that I have the energy <laughs> to be painting more notebooks and assembling them tonight, but I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Saturday and Sunday at the Peking Community Bank Showcase Stage on the New York Community Lagoon. We've got it all from classic rock to community worship. Don't forget to visit Peking Insurance Festival Foods Court. All your favorite festival foods and drinks are available from your favorite non-for-profit organizations in the festive food area by Diamond One and the Royal Avenue Shelter. The Advanced Medical Transport Kids Experience is full of fun this year. Check out the schedule so your kids can enjoy crafts, games. Hello. 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 H
Hello y'all. Okay, so it is Wednesday the 11th, so it's a couple of days after the actual craft show. I realized I forgot to do an outro, so yay. <laughs> um, the market went really well. I was really happy. I was pretty exhausted afterwards. I've already cleaned up my, my workroom and everything, but um, I just wanted to give you the stats afterwards, so drum roll. Um, so I made $975 total for the whole, the whole show, and I think it was, yeah, it was $120, um, to purchase the booth, so not bad, not bad. I was hoping, because it's about similar to what I made last year, I was hoping to break the 1k mark, and I was so close once again, but, um, maybe next year. Yeah, so I had 48 total orders for $975 total. I don't know, I, I was happy with it. Um, especially given that pretty much that whole week was all I had to prepare. Not all I had, but all I left myself with. <laughs> yeah, so now the counter is actually at 91, so I actually got an order um, yesterday night that I gotta fulfill. Uh, I'll do that in the next vlog though, so I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye.